Our top story tonight, picking up the pieces in North Carolina, where five tornadoes touched down during last night's storms. Only Chopper 10 can give you this aerial view of the damage in Pasquotank and Perquimans counties, Edenton and Elizabeth City. North Carolina officials say at least 28 people were injured in the eastern part of the state. Dozens of homes are either damaged or destroyed. One of those tornadoes nearly killed a one-year-old in Edenton. The winds leveled his home. His mother was also hurt. Ashley Bain was in the house on Yepium Road in Chowan County with her son Gavin and another 10-year-old family member. The 10-year-old crawled out a window, but Bain and Gavin were trapped inside. Luckily, four men happened to be driving by. They lifted the roof off the mother and son. As soon as I ran over there and got them out of the crew, started yelling at her, baby, where you at? Where you at, lady? And she started screaming. I stood underneath there and lifted up with my back, and she had the baby just like right here. The baby won't go nowhere. And if That baby probably would have been crushed if it wasn't for his mom. One-year-old Gavin is still at CHKD tonight. The mother is out of the hospital. The family tells us doctors put the baby in a medically induced coma, and he's on a ventilator. We're hearing more and more survival stories coming out of Perquimans County tonight, where dozens of homes were damaged. Town your side's Jason Marks is there. Jason, you spoke with several people who were inside their homes when this storm blew through. And it had to have been terrifying. Just imagine being in your home as that storm is moving on top of you and the windows are blowing out and the home is shaking and all you could do is pray until it ends. Could have been a lot worse. It's just hard. It's easy to say everyone in Perquimans County is like family. Well, no better example of that than on Chappanoke Road. Because this is all Parkers down here. All Parkers, all family. The Parkers are tightly bunched in about a dozen homes. Most now look like this one. I was sitting in the, the long chair right there, the single chair. Russell Parker was in his home last night, his dad next to him as the storm blew through. The roof was coming off. The ceilings were falling in on us. That's when, you know, I grabbed the chair, threw the chair on top of me. Father and son thought this was the end. And then we just started reciting the Lord's Prayer, thanking God. And by the time we finished, the time we finished saying the Lord's Prayer, it's just like, the, you know, it was over. And then all of a sudden, I heard a clang, and the windows just blew out the house. 200 yards from Parker's place, family member Clyde Spellman was home alone, hiding in his bathroom. Just went to the corner of the bathroom, fell on my knees, and started praying and asked the Lord to keep me. Prayers were answered. Clyde and Russell and other family members lost homes, but no one was hurt. I'm very fortunate. I'm blessed. I know I'm blessed. I know there was somebody that kept me here for a reason. And I know we as a community and we as a people, we're going to, you know, this too shall pass. So we're going to be all right. Yeah, and all the, though all the houses look like this one behind me, the Parkers are our resilient group. They had family members from all around the area here today helping to clean up, helping to pick up the pieces. That's the latest here from Perquimans County. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.